to 12.25 p.m. Oh, okay. Today is the January 27th, let's see. This is Max Club Goose. An episode of Miami Vice that two were filmed in a it's the oldest bar in Miami Beach. It's on 14th Street. I was headed to get coffee. And I looked down the side street. I noticed a massive police and fire response. See, there's two cops standing outside the door of the bar now. We have one, two, three rescue units. There's another police car back there behind that AWS truck. One over here, and one over here. Okay. I spotted at least seven police officers already. You know, I've only seen three more units. And we have the one, see, they, they just went into the bar. One of them's holding a roll of crime scene tape. So what happened obviously happened inside the bar. I couldn't they wait for me to finish my coffee. Not even awake yet, I have to film all this stuff. Okay, let's see. This police car is unit 14038. Let's see if you can get the license tag here. Because I can't see it from where I am with the naked eye. But hopefully, you can tell here. Police officer as well. No, he's out here. He's a rescue worker. And why does he have the badge? Okay, now this is a police unit as well. So a caterpillar. Number 17036. It has no license tag or other identifying information. It's not supposed to be used on the street. And yet they are patrolling the streets with it. And then I believe it's not a caterpillar, it's a Christmas scooter. We have two police ATVs here. As you can see, they have license. Well, they have numbers on the back of them. is now leaving. I couldn't see if they loaded anybody in it. I assume they did or he wouldn't probably have the siren on as he left. This ATV is 17301. The one in the front is 16310. The unit over there is 16034. And as you can see, his license tag is being obstructed by the bicycle mount in the back. I hope you can see, because I'm having trouble seeing. I had to shoot right into the sun to get that one. Rescue going back into the bar. So I don't know, there may still be somebody hurting there. Who they're not going to transport.
Hey, I know that guy. He's a cop. He's Internal Affairs, Sergeant Hernandez. You think they have to cover something up so badly that they had to call Internal Affairs out to the crime scene to aid in it? Or are they just investigating themselves and finding that no wrongdoing occurred before the complaint is even made? You talking to this black woman with the face mask. She's been standing there since the, since I got here. So she's involved in it somehow, but exactly what happened or how what her involvement is, I don't know. I don't know. I got here after the cops were all here. They took somebody away in an ambulance. They're talking to this woman, and I don't know if it was a fight or, or a medical emergency or what the heck it was. But, but this woman is evidently with the victim that they transported. So, huh? Whatever happened, happened inside the bar, yeah. And they already transported one victim to the hospital, and uh, that black woman there with the face mask and the glasses on the right it was evidently with the person they transported, but I don't know any more about it. I'm surprised he didn't get on my case about filming him. Parked the scooter right in the middle of the crime scene area where the, all the cops are. And then he started walking directly toward the camera. And I tried to angle it to get a shoot around him. And he altered his path to, to try and block the shot. But then he walked right by me without saying a word. Usually when they do that, they start getting on your case about filming them. Again, I guess he must be a cop. The civilians are the ones who do that. Because they wouldn't let him park well, there. They're pulling gloves on. Either they're going to see some evidence or they're about to arrest somebody. That guy in the blue shirt is bar manager. Now, this looks like it's pretty much all over. I mean, the cops are just standing around and talking outside the bar. The bar is serving people inside. And yet, the rescue vehicle is still sitting there, blocking traffic in both directions. The fire, the fire truck there. One cop got in his car and left. Looks like the cop in the... I think that's actually a Cushman scooter, not a... a 
Mueller uh, heater. Notice how with no emergency lights, he drives down the oncoming lane and goes through the red light. Now those vehicles have flashing blue and red lights, even if they don't have brake lights or turn signals. I guess it's about over with. I don't know. Okay, you see one rescue unit down there. You can see it's sticking out around the corner of the store there. He pulled out of 14th Street, pulled around the corner to Washington so he could park next to the curb and not block traffic. But the fire truck is still sitting there in the middle of everything. Evidently it was a fight. You hear this guy describing what happened to the cops. For some reason, I've got people crowding around me. prevent me from hearing what's going on across there. I try moving to the side and the crowd moves with me. They're all standing right behind me, talking to each other pretty loudly.